Hi, my name is Lance Reed with Telsion. Thank you for joining me. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Cisco Wireless Headset Series 700. Now you might be asking yourself, why in the world is Cisco making headsets? And so, well that's a good question and a lot of it comes down to is that these days more and more of our clients are moving away from using a desk phone on their desk. As you can see on my desk, I don't have a desk phone. I have a video unit that I use that works as my phone. Um, and uh, so because we don't use a desk phone uh, like we used to, and we have clients that are moving more to soft phones or to video devices and those kind of things, uh, it, it brings up this notion that we need a headset to work with if we want to have privacy. And so with a lot of our clients moving away from desk phones and moving to soft phones, the very next thing is, hey, we still need to have some kind of a, a headset uh, or earphones for um, our users to be able to use so that they can have some privacy or and or we're not all you know having meetings and having out loud conversations uh, when there's a lot of people that are in the room and so uh, headsets give us a good way to do that so Cisco came out with uh, two different models they have a they have a 500 series model that's wired and they have a 700 series model that is wireless and so when we look at the wireless version uh, this is a is a really nice headset and so uh, I've used a whole variety of headsets over the years um, things from uh, like a Plantronics with a little boom mic on it to you know the Apple um, uh, AirPods or AirPods Pro. Um, these are definitely in the premium uh, segment as far as features go. So when I put it all on, on over my ears, it's got leather ear cups on it. It's very soft. It just feels good. It's lightweight. It's very easy and um, just just feels very comfortable as I'm wearing it. So if you're going to wear it all day, that obviously is very important and it just lends itself to me wearing it all day. So I really like the, the, the feel of it. Um, so it doesn't have a boom mic of any kind, so I really like that. Uh, so I don't have to worry about this, this thing around my mouth or, or having to move it around and so forth when I'm, when I'm trying to talk to other people. Um, it is a Bluetooth-based headset um, primarily, and so it'll pair up easily with your Cisco devices that you've got. So if you have a Cisco phone uh, that supports Bluetooth or a Cisco video device uh, that supports Bluetooth, it'll support that. It's got a about a 200 or so foot range that you can walk away from if you are uh, if you get them and move away from your desk. And so I know often for me, if I'm not if I'm not doing video, I like to get up and pace around, and so uh, just be able to get up and move around a little bit uh, makes that easy to do. So it's got some good uh, distance with it. It has some great uh, features on this thing for like ambient noise or noise cancellation, and so I can either inject noise into it, uh, so just a little bit of that that, that shh kind of noise that goes into um, uh, into your ears and just kind of disguises the environment that, that's around you or if you have a lot of loud noise going on just to be able to do some noise cancellation so you know whether whether you're in that jet airplane or you're set in my office sometimes a train going by those kind of things you can you can kind of cancel out some of that noise uh, for the environment you're in or for the, the phone call that you're on and that kind of thing so so that's real nice it does have a desktop charging unit so uh, if I do want to charge it at the end of the day I can just you know easily you know take the headset and uh, put it on the charger and, and walk away and overnight, you know, let that charge up, come back in the morning and I'm good to go for a whole other day. But for some reason I did forget to do that, then uh, I can uh, take the uh, USB cable that's on here and just unplug it and then it plugs right into the bottom of my headset here and then I'd be able to just put it on and, and it would charge while I'm, I'm talking and using it. So uh, it does have some options for us there. Then additionally, as an administrator, uh, what I'm able to do is that I'm able to if I, let's say I have a, a hundred of these that I bought for my users, I can manage them as, as a device on my Cisco call manager system or in, in the Cisco WebEx control hub, uh, depending on which platform I'm using. And I can manage them as another device within our system and, and gain control um, software or features and, and those kind of things. Okay, so now let's call Jeff Sanger. He's our consulting systems engineer here at Telsion. And let's talk to him about uh, how he uses and what his fa favorite features are of the, of the Cisco wireless headsets. So hey Jeff, I know we're talking about the Cisco wireless headsets uh, this morning. Uh, to tell me a little bit about what your favorite features are. Well, I love the fact that I can be paired to multiple devices at any one time. So not only am I paired to my Cisco video device, I've gotten paired to my iPhone or my iPad, depending on what I'm using, because I've got calls coming in from all sorts of different directions. So depending on what's ringing at any one time, I can get quickly get that call and get them answered whenever I need to. So I know there's some special management features that come with these headsets. Um, can you talk about that for a moment? Yeah, so this Cisco Headset 730 comes with an app that runs on iOS or Android. 
that not only manages the software updates, it manages the sound settings, it manages the battery, and it's really easy to use so you can customize how, how you want them to sound, how you want the devices to pair, and anyone can use it. It was, uh, it was able to get the headset up and running in just a matter of a few seconds with it. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Now, I know that on these particular headsets, because they're enterprise class, they've got some very interesting security features. Talk to us a little bit about that. So Cisco's gone a long way to incorporate what they've called secure boot and image authentication. The images are encrypted so that only Cisco software can run on them. And uh, not only with that image authentication process, you're making sure that only valid software can run on them, but because of that, they can be managed within your own enterprise environment with Cisco software, so they're easy to distribute, and uh, no uh, inappropriate software is ever gonna run on them, so you don't have to worry about malware or hackers ever getting into software that they shouldn't be. That's awesome. All right, cool, thank you, Jeff. Really appreciate your time today. Thank you. So uh, with that uh, thought process in mind, let's talk about pricing real quick. So pricing on these things, the, now the Cisco 500 series is, is like around the $200 range, um, again, those are wired uh, headphones versus the uh, wireless version, the 700 series, is around the $400 range. And, uh, of course, pricing is always uh, better when you buy more of them from a volume perspective, but that gives you a kind of a rough idea of what the pricing might be. Now, with that in mind, you know, as, I, as I wrap this up, I would just say you know, the reason why you want to have headsets for your users, and what I would say Cisco headsets for your users, is that, number one is I can manage them. Um, as a device on our system. So that's really nice to be able to do so from a management perspective, be able to manage all those. That makes things a little bit easier. Um, and then number two is your users are gonna want to have um, some kind of headset or you know, uh, ear pods or something to be able to use with their soft phones. And so um, we all have a need for privacy at some point in the conversations we're having. They're gonna need them, so you just need to be considering or thinking about um, getting something along those lines when, uh, when you move or when those users move to a soft phone type device. And so, um, you're going to want to have something there for them to be able to use. All right, that's all we have for today. I'll talk to you soon.